Chloe. Chloe, please listen. I know this is awful, but we're in it together, okay? I didn't have your back, and I let you down. Please don't cry. Max, I'm, I'm gonna go to the police after we find Rachel. I can't live keeping this a secret, and I don't want to be a teenage fugitive on the run, and, and dude, I swear I, I won't even mention you, okay? This is all me. Chloe, it was self-defense. I know you're hurting, but you have to just block out everything and keep moving forward. Rachel is waiting. <sighs> okay, y you're right. Focus on Rachel. It's all about Rachel now. Okay. We will. And I know this week has been so weird and fucked up, but Chloe, I, this has to be our destiny. Or at least one of them. Let's just find out where this is all going to end, okay? For Rachel. For Kate. And for Frank. He was dragged into this bullshit, too. That's my Chloe. Now let's be a lean, mean research team. You have to go online and help decipher these coordinates. Because they might finally lead us to Rachel. Here we come, Rachel. Thanks, Chloe. Let's start hacking. Bad code. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass. Find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. Yes, uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. 
Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan, you're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan, it's time for you to watch out. Asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. So Chloe and me actually killed somebody. What happens to us now?
Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. There has to be another way in, Max. I bet you can find it. Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. Oh, yes, Maximus rules. This is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, no, no. look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. This tractor has paid its dues. Scope out the perimeter, Max. There has to be more here than that. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Just rotting wood. No more secrets, Sean Prescott. <sighs> Nothing here. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. So many haystacks, so many haystacks. So few needles. <sighs> Nothing here. Chloe would make a great detective too. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. OK, 
Okay, Chloe. Um, ah, the good old days. <laughs> the rope leads up to that platform. Must climb. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop, and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. <clears throat> that looks sturdy enough to stand on. Here's the other end of the rope. Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry. Here's the other end of the rope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Here's the other end of the rope. I guess the press cuts were just born bastards.
Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. This tractor has paid its dues. to get through this monster padlock first. So many haystacks, so few needles. Damn, those pliers are fossilized. I need something strong to smash this padlock. Pretty sure this old pitchfork won't open a padlock. Try again, Max. So, that didn't work at all. No, Max. Try again.
MacGyver strikes again. Damn, this is heavy. What is this? Jackpot. Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. This bunker is so surreal. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. That only worked in the movies. Open sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. What the hell is that? More survivalist supplies. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Look at all this weird shit. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Oh, that son of a bitch. Talk about tortured. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all... These are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh, 
Oh my god. Right. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. This picture is framed different. Rachel has passed out and she has something in her mouth. This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. So who's using this fancy tripod? Frank won't be around to push this stuff. Needles. Gross. Somebody likes their whiskey. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. Look, this is it! This is it! Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop! Look. Please, no. Oh! oh that smell! Rachel! Oh.
I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Line. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so... I want to have something... for prosperity. Well... I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm paying the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs> Where the hell are you? Ugh, I hate touching all these clothes. Uh, hi, Stella. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and... You bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck.
We need to find Nathan and take him down. Justin said somebody so nice saw two moons out there. Anime geek. Oh yes, I'm a. Are Daniel and Brooke flirting? Right. I'm glad I talked Daniel into coming. Hi, Daniel. Yes, Max makes an entrance. <laughs> I only came to the party because of you. I'm glad to see you out and about. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott tonight? No, I've been hanging with Brooke since I got here. Max, are you okay? Your face looks so serious. Come on! We came to party! Uh, I know. I'm... I'm not in party mode tonight. You look like you're on a secret mission. This is where it's going to end. For Rachel's sake. Oh, Max, you need a black whale break. I'm taking Brooke to a Miyazaki show in Portland. If you want to come along, the more the merrier. Thanks, Daniel. I have to stay on my mission now. I hope you stay on yours and become a great artist. Well, I'll be celebrating someday in a museum, Max. Adios. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you... No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. And his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? No, I was talking to Daniel. He asked me to go with him to the Portland Art Museum this weekend. Oh, um, that, that's so sweet. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guide. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. I just wish someone would kick Luke. I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I want to make sure he's not going to do, do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. Oh, wait, I did see Nathan today, nursing a busted face. I had dreams that somebody finally kicked his ass. Well, Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Warren gave him an epic beatdown. Yes, give it up for Brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoots game. Mean fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. No, for helping Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. Bigfoot on Otter Action. <laughs> What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen! No, you listen. 
Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Yes, you do suck. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? Hey, Max. What are you doing in here? If I get sick Apparently, now, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper leave. fetish. Energy drink and Everclear. Oh, God, my stomach. Yo, Maximum Overdrive, about time you got here to save this lame rave. You wanna I'm get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore text club. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. The tide is turning. I'd like to tear every one of these things down. Chloe must be around. Hello? Can you please hurl and flush already? Good night, sweet yes. prince. You've been vomiting for like an hour! Oh, gross. How did this even get here? Maybe you're not the only one Somebody's either having things. sex or throwing up. You don't or both. Up. Ugh, Max. God, are you mental? You can't come in. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? God, are you mental? You can't come in. Ah, the wit of the Vortex Club. Oh shit! Alyssa, are you okay? Yes, I just got tagged by a water weenie and fell in the pool. I'm groovy. Of course, this is the one time you didn't ward me, Max. No way. Are you kidding me? Hey, Courtney. How are you? Max, our guest star arrives fashionably late. <laughs> Say bonsoir to the end of the world. 
even though you flaked on my party makeover, you still get special access to the Vortex Club VIP lounge. You better let your minion know since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye Now, let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> Get it? Hey, Sarah. Um, do you know that I personally put Max's name on the list? So, you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> you're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just... Uh... Oh my god, you're done! And you're off the list permanently. Welcome to the Vortex Club. Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. I always love talking with my ladies. She's wasted and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns at Blackwell. I am a bomb. So Give me a break. So are you two. Victoria and her mean girls were here. Surprise, Hayden is trashed. What's up, Hayden? Oh, hey, Max. I didn't think you'd actually come tonight. Well, I didn't think anybody would want to party after Kate Marsh killed herself this week. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dank OG buds, so I can barely see you. Or these hotties next to me. You want a hit? No. I want to find Nathan. Me too! He's supposed to be bringing some special party favors. I hope at the party you actually planned a party at the party. Not this week. So has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or you could sit down and take a quick hit. Hayden, does Sean Prescott pay for the Vortex Club parties? What doesn't he pay for? The Prescott's shit money. How else could we afford DJ Doomsday to spin? The Prescott family is literally making you dance. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. Taylor really shows her Vortex Club spirit. Max, look at you go, girl! Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting, like, too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. How has Nathan been scary? I've always thought he was a creeper. Fun, but you can tell he doesn't give a shit about anybody. Is this why you want to be in the Vortex Club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed at the last Vortex Club party by Nathan, so you should avoid any drink here tonight. But trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan is around now. He's a pharmacy simulator. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. Chips and crackers. Spare no expense, Vortex. So the Vortex VIPs get real alcohol at their underage bar. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn? I get it. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. 
I'm taking you off. Go fuck your selfie, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. Yeah, Mr. Jefferson probably won't be choosing my photo. I'm not as talented as I thought. Yes, you are. But we shouldn't have to choose between talent and kindness. I hope. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fate we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen, but not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Victoria, enough of this high school bullshit. We're adults now. So listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know you're close to Nathan, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace. Dark. Oh my god. And I'm the drama queen? Touché. But I am not fucking around here. Sorry, but no. No way. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. I don't believe anything you say. You're full of shit. Oh, hi, I'm Max Caulfield, and I...